today from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. This is the National Football League. We'll see Brian Hoyer and the New England Patriots taking on Zach Wilson and the New York Jets. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. Steven Goskowski now to kick this one off. And off we go from Tampa. Here's Coleman now to return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. So first and 10 now from the 30. Wilson. He finds Corey Davis. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. That catch good for only a couple. Gotta love a guy who'll stand in there and deliver no matter what the pressure, waits for the route to come open, hangs in there, and completes the pass. And his throw is gonna be incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing again here, Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Carter. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Here's Wilson. Flushed out right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. This a second and seven from the 37. They'll run for the first time with Michael Carter. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 31. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. 
And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On second down, it's Carter. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Elijah Moore there to make the grab. And the Jets are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes the score 7-0. the touchdown. Here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Here's the dangerous Tyree Kill. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. The Patriots ready to go with the football and the man in charge in his third stint with the franchise, Brian Hoyer at quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Hoyer's throw pulled in by Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Defense gets up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. And some good running out of the gates as he takes this up to the 33. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Good plays, have them on the move on first down. They'll run it here. This is James White. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and 10. Boulder. And only able 
to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Koskowski now for the Pats field goal try. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. Goskowski's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least you're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the year. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Here's Coleman now to return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Wilson to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Jets will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up, nor practiced it, because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Ready? An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Now Wilson. 
Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. First down, Bolden. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. And the Jets have recovered. And partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we've been in a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on it. Maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling. Maybe we ask them to help us with the laterals as well <laughs> and make that a better play. Six yards left on second down. Now Wilson. This one caught by Davis. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll run with Carter. And he's got run. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. 39 yards for Michael Carter. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That can undo a lot of good work that a defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was Michael Carter who finished it all off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And that will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. New England's offense set to go. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. Back to 
They'll run on first down. Bolden, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Second and six. They run with Bolden. And diving to try to get the first down. He's going to be a little bit short. Marker. After one, a 14 to three ball game. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Here's Hoyer. They'll roll him out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. John Franklin Myers coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. Another go around now for the Jets offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. That's to Davis. He's got it. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis. 43 yards. And the Jets are able to strike quickly. To Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's 21 to 3. Now, after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Tyreek Hill on the return. Oh, and miscommunication on the lateral. The ball's out, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You force the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Tyreek Hill. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30.
Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. First down, here's White. Tackle made by Foley Fanukasi, the former UConn Husky. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Allen Man open down the middle of the field. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 37. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't caught their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Allen's got it complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 20-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Wide open, Gronkowski. And he's going to get into the end zone. So cue up the Gronk spike. It's a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And it's caught inside the five. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole line you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Now Corey Davis and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here into the hands of Moore. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. A handoff for Carter. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 78 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. That's going to be caught by Crowder. It's a Jets touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Jets are able to add on to their first half lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. 
The return man is Hill. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get him the ball. And this is caught inside the five. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. Brock so tough to cover, sometimes the flag's going to come out. His size and his ability create a lot of these pass interference calls. If you're trying to go through him to get to the ball, that's almost impossible, and he benefits on the play. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. He'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They look lethargic, out of sync, and this shows on the scoreboard. And right side, Henry's got it. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry from a yard. So that challenge, a successful one. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. And they're gonna fake it. He wants to throw it here. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Jets are gonna get the football back. Zach Wilson and the Jet offense set to take over here. And a trio of touchdowns. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it, partner. You could smell the desperation in that fake, couldn't you? Down big, they had to try something. No one was fooled. I think you're exactly right. With this deficit, though, go ahead and give it a shot. Didn't work out. In the end, I guess it doesn't hurt him too much. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. Throwing is Wilson. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. Davis, 88 yards, and this Jet offense starting to run away with this one. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL, because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Point after, right down the middle, and a route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Returning it, Hill. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now comes Brian Hoyer and the offense to take over. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones look. And that is caught, one-handed. Oh my, pulled it in. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. They'll look to throw now on first down. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Mike Evans in the final seconds.
minutes of the first half. And the Patriots are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. It's caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone. So they get two more on the board here just before halftime. Well, it is still a lopsided score, so they're going to try a second quarter onside kick. And the Jets have got it. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. The Pats at the line ready to go. One second, all that remains. They'll throw now on the final play. Airing this one out for Evans. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And DP goes into Jets territory before being taken down. You sure you're ready for the third quarter? Need to use a bathroom or anything? All right, cool. Let's go. Taken at the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. For the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Going to air it out deep for Gronkowski. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the play. Touchdown, Patriots! Mike Evans, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. fake it and it's caught inside the five and he is not going to get to the goal line and for the first time here this afternoon they are thwarted on the two-point conversion uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit i liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line right when you'd line up go ahead and oh there's a fake and oh, he's going to get two that's great but from the 15 the risk reward it's just not there so risky to get 15 yards on a fake well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first and ten, it's Carter. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. A 
officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. To throw is Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. On third down, Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Could not have thrown that out there any better. When the ball hit the ground, I thought it might go into the end zone the way it was angling, but perfectly jutting out at the one. You think maybe what we saw in practice came into play there? You know, he put those big cans down on the sideline and then angled for them and then shot for them. Looks like it worked out pretty well for him, too. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Going deep for Diggs. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down to the 37. A big play there for New England. Again, it's Brady. Letting one go deep here for Gronk. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first. And it's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots get a score close. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. It's caught inside the five. And he will get into the end zone. A little bit further. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry, I know they got it, and congratulations to them, but it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there, put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two, but I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? Another drive coming up for New York's offense. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now it's Wilson. And the grab by Croft. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and two. Play action. It's Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. Pass the 20. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just, oh, and now they're going to fake it. And it's caught inside the five. And he is not going to get in here. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further into their deficit. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. They didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? The, I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there 
was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. And a throw in here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Looks like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy on the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But I think a jet was able to recover, and they'll keep possession thanks to a heads-up play. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. On the handoff, they start with Bolden. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Brady. Bearing this one out for Evans. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And DP goes into Jets territory before being taken down. To throw, it's Brady. A big play there for New England. And it'll be second and goal. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll make it second and goal. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. The tight end, Dalton Keene, the target. But now it's third and goal. I know that from down to down, you'll hop into different offensive formations and try and fool the defense and pick up some yardage. But going into field goal formation on second down. <laughs> and it's a fake. He's going to throw it. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. I was just confused on that one. I, I had third down written. It said third down on the scoreboard. Do you think the sideline lost track? Maybe they thought it was fourth. And well, they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Michael Carter and the Jets offense ready to get back to work. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one. Fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not. Did not get back there. It's a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. New England trying to get a place on offense. They've gotten right back in this ball game after a very sluggish first half. Back when you play, after a bad half in the locker room, is it usually the coaches or sometimes the players who are the most vocal? It's usually the coaches. But I do remember one time in particular where the coaches started to talk about what they wanted us to do in the second half. And a couple of leaders stepped forward and said, Coach, we got this, and pretty much ushered them out. And they delivered the halftime message. It worked, too. They played much better in the second half and came back and won. Well, whoever said something at halftime, it's working right now. Airing this one out for Evans. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield on that play. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 30 yards, and the Patriots have taken the lead. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Oh, and now they're going to fake. 
Pickett. It's caught inside the five. And he is not going to make it to the goal line. So the defense holds. And this remains a five-point game. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation. This time, unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. But it'll be second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and he told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. First down, Wilson. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10. At the 38, Wilson looking middle, and it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Again, Wilson. Caught here by Griffin, and he's going to get this inside the 30. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now it's Wilson looking for the end zone, and it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. On second and ten, Wilson got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. Touchdown, Jets! Elijah Moore with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets are going to retake the lead. They're going to try and run. And he will not make it to the goal line here. So they'll be unable to bump this lead up to a field goal as it remains a one-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once, but boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, you and got his man! Complete! And that is 
going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Brady now to throw. This is caught. And the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And that's caught by Gronk for a pass touchdown. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Patriots have retaken the lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown on the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Goskowski with the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Here's Coleman now to return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And the Jets set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Over the middle complete, it's Carter. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they got to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Throw it across his body and it's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the Patriots are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now. <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. 
Zach Wilson and the Jet offense set to take over here. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you're two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Working with a second and three. Here's Wilson. And a quick throw here that's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference. Meet it head on and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Brady with a give to Bolden. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And right side, they're going to go option here. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, the risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Oh, they pitch to the tight end. It's a fake. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out, and the Jets are going to get the football back. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play, Colin, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter.
Throwing now, Wilson on first down. He'll drop that down to Carter underneath. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Wilson. Forced out to his left. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally, wrestled down at the 11. A big pick up there on the scramble. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Eight yards to go on second down. Here's Wilson. He'll drop this underneath to Carter. Touchdown! Michael Carter, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. Oh, this is blocked. It's picked up a live ball here, remember. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Well, times have definitely changed on the, on the PAT, on the extra point, haven't they? A lot more effort goes into this play from both sides. Yeah, because let's face it, a lot of time on extra points, the effort is not what it is when you're trying to block a field goal. No, no doubt about it. Before, when the ball was snapped on the two-yard line, it was really a virtual chip shot. Now everyone believes they can get to it and knock it away, and we know how crucial every point is. So the defensive guys, they spent a lot more time trying to get that done, which means there's more pressure on the offensive guys trying to kick it. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back to throw, Brady. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Arm. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. So here's Wilson and the Jets, down by eight, a little over a minute and a half remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Wilson. On the catch, it's Crowder. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Wilson to throw. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now Wilson. And that's good for...
And this will be caught. Touchdown. So in the final minute here now, a two-point conversion will tie the game. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. Throwing now is Wilson to the end zone, but it's incomplete. And the failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Yeah, boy, it is tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. And they're going to speed things up here. On third down, Bolden. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And on fourth down, they come up and take the knee. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. it would be interesting to see what the defensive strategy is about who they put on the field to try and knock that ball away. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Tampa.